This glaring error in Friday the 13th Part 2 almost ruins what is otherwise an absolutely flawless work of cinema. A slingshot-wielding reprobate is clearly seen firing at the right butt cheek of an unsuspecting female camp counselor. However, she reacts by grabbing at her left cheek. In John Wick 2014, John pumps his own gas, which is illegal to do in the state of New Jersey. Just another entry in the long list of illegal things John Wick has done. In The Hunger Games Catching Fire, in the scene where Effie is talking to Katniss and Peeta, the direction of the moving train changes in the same scene. You can see the trees keep going from right to left, even though the camera switches between Effie and Katniss who are on opposite sides. I think they probably missed their stop and had to back up a bit. One of the children playing an extra in Alfred Hitchcock's film covers his ears a few seconds before Eva Marie Saint's character unexpectedly fires a gun at Cary Grant's character in the Mount Rushmore cafeteria. <laughs> Gladiator may have won several Oscars, including for best visual effects, but it wasn't error-proof either. During a battle at the Colosseum, a chariot flips over, revealing a giant gas canister on the back of it. Those definitely did not exist in ancient Rome. What most viewers probably didn't pick up on in Jurassic Park was that as the first dinosaur walks through the kitchen entrance, there is a brief moment where you can see the hand of one of the crew members holding onto the beast to keep it steady. In American Pie during the bedroom scene, the girl is holding a clear cup full of beer. The camera goes off her, and when it comes back, she is holding a blue cup. The camera goes back off her, then on her, and the cup is clear again. In Avengers Endgame during the final battle, Wasp and Ant-Man are in the van trying to get the quantum tunnel operational. We cut back to the fight, and we can see Ant-Man there too, fighting in his giant form. I've never noticed this before when watching Back to the Future Part 3, but if you pay attention, a kid in the back starts to do something a little strange with his hand. The poor kid just wanted Elizabeth Shue to go for a ride on his Beef Express. In Ace Ventura, when nature calls, as Ace is making his accusations to the consulate and the camera pans back and forth, chess pieces on the chessboard magically disappear from one scene to the next. This might be the most famous blunder of all time. In A New Hope, a stormtrooper can be seen accidentally banging his head on a door ceiling, and it actually stayed in the movie. Take over. At the beginning of The Dark Knight Rises, Bruce Wayne is seen reading a newspaper article about a cat burglar wreaking havoc on the city. The problem? The Gotham Times apparently doesn't know how to spell the word heist. Even the Terminator franchise isn't immune from movie blunders. In one scene, John and Catherine are shown in an airplane hangar next to a plane with a tail number of N3035C. Later, when the plane is in the air, the number is N3973F. My favorite mistake from Braveheart is while they're running towards their battles in the epic charge scene, the weapons Mel Gibson holds keep changing. I can't imagine anyone caught this mistake watching Avengers Endgame. As you can see, the fingers on Thanos' gauntlet don't move in the way that they should. The bottom part of the fingers clips right through the palm as he snaps his fingers. In the Austin Powers International Man of Mystery, when Austin enters the bathroom at the casino, keep your eyes on the door during the scene. It opens by itself before closing. And in Bad Boys 1983, they forgot about a little camera in the frame. In the movie Top Gun, Maverick removes his aviator sunglasses to confront Iceman. But when Slider picks him up a moment later, Maverick is magically wearing them. Not too sure if this is a mistake or the guy with the broom is a complete idiot. In Captain Marvel, the shape of yon rogs cockpit dome magically changes between shots. In this scene in 16 Candles, the woman with the pearl necklace doesn't get in the car, she just crouches behind it. In Forrest Gump, 
Forrest says that Jenny died on a Saturday morning, but her tombstone says she died on March 22, 1982, which was a Monday. This scene from Oppenheimer features 50 star U.S. flags. It is set in 1945, when the U.S. only had 48 states. In Pulp Fiction, you can clearly see two bullet holes in the wall behind Jules' shoulders. At this point, the guy hiding in the bathroom has not yet shot at them, which occurs in the very next scene, making the rest of the holes in the wall. In Fifty Shades of Grey, Anastasia can't decide whether her hands are in front of her or behind her. Also, this film's existence is a mistake. In the 1990 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you can see the actor's mouth inside the Donatello costume's mouth during the scene where Rafal wakes up from his coma. In Home Alone, Kevin goes to the grocery and buys Tide detergent. While walking home, the two bags break, but no Tide detergent falls out. Clint Eastwood's 2014 Best Picture Contender features sweeping cinematography, sharp sound editing, and the worst fake baby in Academy history. In one scene, Bradley Cooper cradles what is very clearly a chunk of plastic. In Pretty Woman, during the scene where Julia Roberts is eating breakfast, every time the camera pans to her, she switches from eating a pancake to a croissant. Also, sometimes the food appears to be half eaten, then shows one bite taken from it. Oppenheimer shows a young Oppenheimer listening to a recording of Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, sometime around the 1920s, performed by the San Francisco Symphony and conducted by Pierre Monteux. This recording did not exist until 1945. A massive mistake can be seen throughout the Titanic. In the movie, the ship's four tunnels emit steam from its engines. In reality, the fourth funnel was mainly for the show to improve its look and make it look bigger. At the end of The Goonies, when they're asked about the scariest part of the adventure, Dada says, What happened out there? Were your lives in danger? The octopus was very scary. Oh, was no. Yeah, Puss. it was very dangerous. The scariest yeah. thing is walking the planet. The octopus was a deleted scene that never made the final cut, so this line just sticks out as weird, non-sequential nonsense. In Titanic, when Jack first approaches Rose as she hangs off the railing of the ship, he tells her a story about how he went ice fishing on Lake Wissota in Wisconsin. I remember when I was a kid, me and my father, we went ice fishing out on Lake Wissota. There's just one problem. Lake Wissota was formed when a hydroelectric dam was built on the Chippewa River. Something that didn't happen until 1917. The Titanic, of course, sank in 1912. The movie Leap takes place in 19th century France. You catch views of the Statue of Liberty being built. The film depicts the color being what you'd see today, but the original color was in fact bronze. In the lobby shootout scene from The Matrix, Keanu Reeves wields and shoots two SAVZ.61 Scorpion SMGs that are chambered in .32 ACP a pistol caliber. Yet the empty cartridges that are falling on the floor are from 5.56 45-meter rifle caliber cartridges. In Spider-Man Homecoming, the Staten Island Ferry is shown with cars and motorcycles on its bottom deck. However, vehicles have not been allowed on the ferry since September 11, 2001 out of fear of terrorism and have not been allowed since due to the cost of security that would be required. 